What is lasing? That's a good question. A photon is a particle of energy. This is a photon. It's a packet of energy that wiggles through space. It travels at the speed of light, which is one foot per nanosecond. And <clears throat> as it travels, it vibrates. And the rate at which it vibrates determines its wavelength. Because if it vibrates slow at that speed, you get a long wavelength. If it vibrates real fast, you get a short wavelength. And um, uh, the reciprocal of wavelength is energy. Very fast vibrating photons have higher energy than very slow ones. And so an ultraviolet photon vibrates very fast, has very short wavelength, very high energy. And a radio wave is vibrates very slow. Those are photons too, electromagnetic radiation. It has a wavelength of like kilometers. <coughs> what we're working with is an infrared, and it's got a wavelength in the range of one micron. Uh, someone guessed 1064, and that's close. It's like a, an ND YAG. <coughs> but how does this uh, uh, lasing work? Well, there's a molecule. It's sitting here in a a ground state, it's got electron orbits close to the nucleus, and it can absorb a photon, and when it does that, it jumps up to a higher energy state. That energy might be manifest in this electron taking a higher orbital, and in that state it's excited, it's an excited state, and it doesn't like to be there like most uh, college students, uh, so it spontaneously will decay back down to the ground state and release the photon. So all these atoms or molecules are uh, pumped up into the excited state. And uh, this is how the laser works. You put in something like a flash lamp, an uh, intense beam of uh, flash of light into the cavity, or you can put electricity in there, or uh, other, there are other ways of uh, pumping up all these atoms into an excited state. And you need a, a homogeneous um, collection of atoms, like all neodymium atoms, all carbon dioxide molecules, and you pump them up into excited state. And when a photon passes through that electromagnetic field, and if this photon has just the right energy that equals this transition, it will trigger the release of that energy. And so it will stimulate the release of another photon. These are all pumped up in the excited state. And it, for one photon going through, you end up with two coming out. These two photons then have exactly the same wavelength, and they're moving in the same direction. So they're collimated. They interact with two more atoms, and you end up with four. Four gives you eight, 16, 32, 64. Pretty soon, you've got a gazillion photons. It's a chain reaction, whoosh, like this, where you, one goes in, and then a zillion come out. And this is what Albert Einstein realized, and, and he was the first person to propose that lasing was possible. And it's the basis of what we call ampli light amplification. 